Hello, welcome back to my channel where today I'll be trying out cosplay makeup for the first time ever. I do quite a lot of cosplay, but I don't do what people would consider traditional cosplay makeup. And by that I mean the quite natural makeup that really exaggerates the features. So it really exaggerates the eyes, makes them look a lot bigger, and then makes the mouth look a lot smaller, just to get that more anime style look. But it's never been a look that I've tried personally, because it's not really my taste. I really like it on other people, but to me I feel like it's a little bit too feminine for me to wear. And I know people wear it for masculine characters, for me, it still just feels a little bit too feminine. But before I start rambling, I'm actually gonna get into this video. I'm gonna be using a tutorial made by Kleiner Pixel because they very much do the quintessential style that I'm thinking of in my mind. And I'm gonna be using this tutorial here and then I'm just gonna be making it a little bit more pink because I wanna do my Pinkie Pie cosplay today. I'm gonna start out with my primer. This is the Elf Power Grip Primer just because I want the makeup to stick onto my face a little bit better. In the tutorial, there's no primer stage, but I kind of assume that maybe they use primer because most people who wear a lot of makeup do use primer. They just go straight in with the eyebrows but we're gonna start with this. Now that the primer's all on my face I'm gonna move on to the tutorial. Now Kleiner starts by putting eyelid tape on, I'm not gonna do that because it's just not something I want to do personally. And then she also goes in and conceals her eyebrows as a nice base for the eyebrows but I don't have any concealer. Honestly it's not starting out great, I don't have many of the things that people often use for this sort of makeup but we're gonna try our best to make the eyebrows look like how she did them. They're very thin, very long and quite pointy which is kind of similar to the style that I normally do but I tend to put them a little bit more an angle, they tend to go slightly further up, more like drag eyebrows. So I'm gonna try and follow the natural eyebrows just a little bit more than I normally would. And I'm gonna use this color here from my Morphe palette because I feel like it's a good eyebrow color for this character. I only tend to do eyebrows for cosplay when I'm cosplaying female characters. So when I do My Little Pony characters, I tend to have eyebrows, but when I do Pokemon characters, because I don't really do them with a gender, I don't have eyebrows normally because I feel like the eyebrows make me look less like myself and then I feel more comfortable in feminine outfits. Honestly, when I do cosplay, I just like focusing on comfortability, which a lot of characters obviously don't allow for a lot of cosplays are very restricted, very elaborate and all that, especially when you have to wear a wig because wigs really hurt your head after a while. So it kind of just looks like my normal clothing but in the colours of the characters that I'm cosplaying. That's how I find it really fun. If I try and do the more elaborate cosplays where I look less and less like myself, I start to get really uncomfortable. I don't know if many people feel like that. If you feel like that, please let me know down below in the comments because I feel like a lot of people kind of just push through feeling uncomfortable in cosplay and I don't think that should be the norm. The eyebrows are now in place. This this one came out so nicely, I really like it. This one on the other hand is a little bit wonky, I still don't think it's terrible, but this one definitely looks better than this one. But I do feel like they kind of look like her. She did hers more as like a sad character because the character she's doing I guess has sad eyebrows. And I didn't want to make them too sad because I'm doing a pinkie pie, so I kind of just made them more straight across. Moving on now to the eyes, she starts out with the crease in a kind of dark brown colour. I think I'm going to use a more pinky tone brown for that. And then goes in and defines the corner with an even darker colour. I feel like currently in the tutorial it looks more like everyday kind of makeup because it doesn't have that exaggeration yet but it definitely gets more and more exaggerated as she goes along. I'm also going to do the eyeliner for this step so she uses kind of a dark brown eyeliner to get that more natural look. I don't have a dark brown eyeliner but I do have dark brown eyeshadow so I'm going to attempt to do that with eyeshadow which I'm a little bit worried about because I feel like it's going to look a little bit messy but I am going to try my best with that one. And then in terms of lashes I don't have any false lashes here so I'm just going to use mascara. This is my Revolution Real Love mascara. I actually really like this mascara, I got it recently. It's a high rise mascara, so hopefully it's gonna give my lashes a bit of a longer look. And like I said before, I wanna bring a little bit of pink into this look to go more with the character. So I think I'm gonna start with this color here, add the darker color with this one here, which is the one I use for the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna use this one for the eyeliner because it's the darkest brown that I own. So hopefully that will look good all together. I'm not quite sure how this one will look with the other two, but we'll see. I don't go to a lot of anime conventions because they take so much out of me. We tend to do London or Birmingham Comic Con every year, and then I sometimes do smaller conventions in between. Because cons are just stressful, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of preparation, and I just don't have the mental capacity to be doing it multiple times a year. It impresses me how many people seemingly go to endless cons and meetups, because I could never do that. It's something that I would love to do, but I just can't physically do it. It just makes me jealous that my social media can't go as high as other people's. Most of the time my socializing is very much focused on my work and then when I get home I just want to sit in silence by myself because it's too much effort. And then with like my relationship and stuff most of our communication is done over text because it's slightly easier to do. So meetups just honestly sound like my worst nightmare but at the same time it's a nightmare I really want to try one day but it would have to be very calm, very chill. In the UK it seems like most meetups are in the summer and that is just 
too hot for me to go outside. I am dreading putting on the wig for this video and I'm not even outside. I am inside where it's much cooler because I have the window open and I have good airflow in this house. I just couldn't imagine sitting in a field talking to people all day wearing a wig. It amazes me that people can do it so easily or at least make it look like they can do it really easily because I understand that a lot of these people probably can't do it very easily. But it makes me happy that they are doing something that makes them happy despite the fact that it's quite a hard thing to do. It's quite hard to make friends in communities. It's quite hard to sit there all day in very uncomfortable cosplays or outfits. So I just, I applaud it. I think it's great. So these are the eyes so far. I feel like they came out really good. I'm actually surprised at myself for how good they came out. Like I know I can do makeup, but I don't do this style of makeup. So the fact that it actually came out looking pretty decent, I am very happy with. I'm now gonna finish off the eyes with a little finishing touch as you just much later on in the video. So we're gonna be skipping through the video a little bit, but to me it just makes more sense to finish the eyes first. I didn't put mascara on. I'm gonna put mascara on while I talk about this section. So the last steps for the eyes are the under eye bags. So we're just gonna have a little bit of shadow underneath where the bags of the eyes are, which is definitely very much inspired by Japanese style makeup because a lot of cosplayers are obviously doing anime looks. So it makes sense to do a more Japanese style makeup look. And I think it's a makeup look that just looks really cute in general. It's not really my sort of thing. These sort of eyes I just couldn't wear on my everyday basis because they're too subtle and too natural to me. Like brown tones aren't really my thing. But anyway, we're gonna do those under eye bags and then we're gonna do a little bit of highlight on the inner corner and then the eyes are gonna be done. I currently have only one cosplay plan and it's to make a link from Legend of Zelda cosplay, but I haven't picked the outfit that I wanna do yet. I'm very stuck between quite a few different options, but I really wanna do it because I don't really have any masculine cosplays because I'm not a very masculine guy. I really like bright colours, so characters like the My Little Ponies fit my aesthetic a lot better, and it's a lot easier for me to style that sort of thing. But I really do want to try and do like an armoured link cosplay, because it'd be so different to what I normally do. I don't think I want to do an accurate cosplay, like I don't want to just pick an outfit and do exactly that. I kind of want to play with it a little bit and do something a little bit more me. So honestly, that's probably going to mean he's going to end up really slutty, but still in armour, which I think sounds fun. <laughs> the eyes are now fully done and I am so happy with them. I have never done eyes like this before. I think they look really cool and really interesting. From far away especially, the eye underneath I think really works. When I'm close up, you can kind of see where the eyeshadow is under my eye, but I feel like it does have that good illusion to it. It's not looking quite as big as her eyes do in the video. So obviously I would have to play around with it a little bit more. I think it's because obviously my eye shape is different. And when you do makeup that's meant to make your eyes look wider, you do have to focus on your own anatomy. And I haven't done that for this video. So maybe I could try it out again sometime and do something a little bit more fitting for my personal eye shape. But now we're gonna move on to the face. Unlike Kleiner, I'm not gonna put any foundation or anything on my face because I don't like wearing it. It makes me just feel very sticky and uncomfortable. So I'm gonna be doing some blush and a little tiny bit of nose contouring. I don't wanna do a lot of the contour that she does in this video, like she carves out her jaw and such. That's just not something that I fancy doing today, quite honestly. So we're just gonna do a little bit of nose contour and then all the blush. And for the blush, I'm gonna use my Elva 2 palette because this has my favorite blush tone in it which is this one here this just works so well for my skin tone as a blush so i always really like using that and for the nose contour i'm going to go back to this palette and i think i'm going to be using this one here or maybe even this one here this one might be my exact skin tone so I don't know how well that will work, but I think this one will work well for a nose contour. I really do want to do more cosplay videos. I'm thinking of doing a cosplay video where I go back and go through all of my cosplays and fix them all because I saw them all terribly. I kind of just throw them in a box. A lot of them probably won't even fit me anymore because I made them such a long time ago when I was a teenager. So I think that might be something that I will do a little bit more in the future, like go back and redo cosplays. I've done it a little bit. I did it with my Twilight cosplay. Like I used to have a much older Twilight Sparkle cosplay. I remade it and then I remade it again and I just found that so fun. So I think I want to revisit characters that I cosplayed as a child maybe. Like I'm a really big fan of the Vocaloid. I have a Vocaloid poster behind me and I have a Miku cosplay and when I was a kid I used to cosplay Rin but I think I want to cosplay Rin and Len and maybe do kind of a matching cosplay for both of them even though obviously I can't wear them at the same time. I think that would just be a fun thing to do where I could go between them and just put them both together and make the twin cosplay. Even though I have a twin, I could just make my twin wear a cosplay, but they hate wearing wigs. So it's very difficult to force them to wear something with me. So I put on the blush and the little bit of nose contour. Hers is also really subtle, so I did it very subtly. I don't think it's made much of a difference to be honest, but we're actually onto the final step now, which is the lips. And for the lips, she just blushes them, like puts a little bit on the center and kind of just smudges it outwards to kind of give her lips 
a little bit of color without making them look really overly obvious, which is what I've seen a lot of people do with cosplay makeup, because obviously anime characters tend to not really have lips. They tend to just have like the lines of their lips, but it's not colored in a lot of the time. So I think that's the sort of thing she's going for with this video. So all I'm gonna do is put a little tiny bit of the eyeshadow that I was using for my eye, the pink one, the first one I went in with. And I'm just gonna put that on my lips a little bit, smudge it out, not really make it very obvious. And then I will be done. Honestly, that was the easiest lip I've ever done in my entire life. And it actually looks quite cute. This color works really well for my lips. Like it really just goes with my skin tone. I'm also gonna finish off this look with a setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy setting spray. It's just my favorite setting spray right now. And now I'm gonna go and quickly put on the wig. I'm not gonna wear it very long. I'm just gonna put it on, take a few photos, film the outro and then take it off because it's getting even hotter. If you want to see me make this wig, I did make a video on it. It's the first ever wig that I've like fully styled and it's like actually solid. I really love this wig. I'm so happy with it. I should really just cut these out of this wig because I don't use them anyway. I am actually so happy with how this turned out. Like I feel like it looks good. Like it looks like actual cosplay makeup. I don't think the eyebrows are the right color for this wig, but I think it actually looks like for the first time ever, I'm actually wearing cosplay makeup, which is mad to me because I've never really done this before. Like, I'm just very happy with how the eyes came out. I feel like they work really well for Pinkie Pie because obviously the ponies have really huge eyes. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you like how the makeup came out. Let me know down below if you think it looks good and you think it goes with this wig because I don't think it's quite perfect for the wig, but I think I did a pretty good job, which for me doesn't normally happen. Whenever I usually try out new makeup looks, always goes wrong the first time. If you disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. I know that everyone has their own taste for this sort of thing. But anyway, if you did enjoy it, please give a like down below, comment what else you'd like me to do, and subscribe as I post a new video every single week, and I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye.